Hey everyone, welcome to my channel Mukesh's Tech Space, uh, where I generally have video tutorials on AWS LightCell, WordPress tips and tricks, um, tutorials on uh, using cloud services for setting up uh, websites, um, mostly for beginners. So if you are new here and are interested in such content, please consider subscribing. In this video, I wanted to bring to your attention a new feature added to AWS LightCell. You now have the ability to restrict uh, ports based on source IP address. Um, uh, this enhancement, uh, it brings a lot of security. Uh, to the LightCell platform. Uh, primarily, I see this useful for the SSH ports that we typically have open so that uh, we can connect uh, to your server using SSH client software from your, from your computer. So um, I, in this video, I will show you how to set up uh, your existing servers if you have the SSH port configured, how to set up that server to use this new feature in AWS LightCell firewalls. Uh, so without further ado, let's get started. All right, so the first thing you'll need to do is log into your AWS LightCell uh, dashboard, your account that brings you to the dashboard where you have uh, your LightCell instances. Click on any one of those and then click on the networking tab and scroll down to where the firewall configuration section is. Uh, now, typically you would have at least at a minimum these three ports, your 80 port, port 80 for HTTP traffic, um, your HTTPS traffic, and that's port 443, and then port 22, which is your SSH traffic, your uh, secure cell. And so you're, you're using this port to log on to the server via an SSH client. Uh, to perform any server administration or um, uh, installation or updates to your server. Being that this port allows, allows server-side access, we really need to secure the port. Um, and if someone were to gain access to your entire server, they, you know, they, your server could be compromised. So restricting or limiting access to this port only to your specific IP address you know, adds an added layer of security. So, uh, that's what we're going to do here, and that's the feature that um, AWS has uh, enabled. Click on uh, port 22, click on edit, and you'll see here now a new option called restrict to IP address. So you can click on that, and then that presents an, a text box where you're, um, you're typing in your IP address. Now, this is going to be your internet connection's public IP address. So we'll need to find that IP address and type that in here. So the easiest way to find that is uh, open up a new tab, go to google.com. And on Google, just type in, what is my IP? And Google will find you your IP address. So this is my IP address right here. So you can copy the IP address and Paste that in here and hit save. And that's it. Really, that's all it is to add an additional layer of security on your server and restrict port 22 access to only your IP address. Now, if someone else tries to log, you know, uh, finds your public IP address, your server's IP address, and tries to find and see if port 22 is open and, 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 and attempts to hack into it, they would be blocked. Just like me and many of you probably have a uh, dynamic IP address given to you by your internet service provider, meaning your IP address uh, uh, can change frequently. So what happens when your IP address no longer is this 137, 135, 122, 122 in my case, but what if that isn't your IP address anymore? Then even you're gonna be blocked into um, in, from going into your server. Uh, so what you would need to do in that case is just come back to Google, search up your new IP address, that will be something different. Go back to your uh, networking tab where the um, rule is configured and click edit and just modify this IP address and type your new IP address and then hit save and then you're able to log in. Now that is a little bit of an in inconvenience. Um, if your I ISP, your internet service provider does give you the feature of getting a static IP address, uh, an IP address that doesn't change, then uh, you should go ahead and get that if you think that's uh, important to you. Uh, typically there would be an extra cost related to that. 
but you know, if you don't want to do that, this is a minor inconvenience where you, if your IP address does change, you have to go here and reconfigure it. But that inconvenience is better uh, taken than to not have this added security and compromise your server. Um, so that's it. Uh, hopefully you found this uh, video useful. Um, if you did, please um, share and subscribe to the video, like the video, uh, subscribe to my channel and um, helping me reach my 1000 subscriber mark. Um, so again, thanks for your feedback um, and comments. If you have any suggestions or uh, feedback on new tutorials that I should put or make, uh, please put them in a the comment down below. Until the next video, take care.